please take a look at question number two. It says, compare tobacco consumption at the beginning and end of the study. Has it changed during the last 10 years? So we have two categorical variables, tobacco, smoking, yes and no, and time, beginning of the study and end of the study. And the samples are dependent because they are the same individuals two times. So go up to the table. We are in two categorical variables, related samples or paired samples. So we need to make sure that they have at least 10 discordant cases. And we will perform a McNamara's test. And we will look at the difference of proportions. So our p-value will tell us if there is a significant difference in smokers at the beginning of the study and at the end of the study. And we are here. Okay, so go to SPSS. And this analysis is very similar to the one that we did previously. So we will go to descriptive statistics, cross tabs again because we have two categorical variables and we want to look at the differences in the two in the percentages of the two categorical variables. Okay, so we're going to take um, tobacco use at the start of the study, and it doesn't matter which one we put them in, and tobacco use at the end of the study. Then we're going to go to statistics, and before we did a chi-squared test, but because these are related or paired samples, we click on McNamara, which is down here, click continue, cells, we need the observed, I always like to see the expected, and the percentages. So click continue. Okay. All right. So here we have tobacco use at the end of the study, non-smokers, smokers, and tobacco use at the start of the study, non-smokers and smokers. We are going to put the percent of smokers that we had at the beginning of the study and the absolute value. And we're going to put the percent that we had of smokers at the end of the study. So instead of getting the frequency from inside the boxes, we're going to take the total. And this first one of smokers at the beginning of the study, here's at the start of the study. Smokers, we want the total, which is here. So 27.3% of the sample were smokers at the start of the study, and that absolute number is 631, so we'll write that there. And then at the end of the study, smokers at the end of the study is here, 26.5% were smokers at the end of the study. Okay, and we write that there. It's a McNamara's test, so we need to check and make sure, as it says here, if there are at least 10 discordant cases. And remember, the discordant cases are those who changed their smoking status between the beginning and end of the study. And those can be seen here. So if they were users of tobacco at the beginning of the study, but became non-users at the end of the study. So let's see, let's see, beginner, beginning smokers, but end non-smokers, that is here, there are 40, and smokers, non-smokers at the beginning, but smokers at the end, and that's 23. So we have 23 and 40, and these are both greater than 10, we have at least 10 discordant cases, cases that have changed status from the beginning to the end of the study. So we can use the McNamara test. And we'll go down here to the McNamara test. It gives us a two-sided p-value of 0 0.043, which is significant at a 95% significance level. So put a McNamara p-value, take the difference between the smokers at the beginning and end of the study. And although the clinical significance would be small, it's not even 1% difference, it is statistically significant. So we can say that there are statistically significant differences in the percent of smokers from the beginning to the end of the study.